Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we'll do a short overview of a new feature called Automatic Split of Large Financial Journals. This feature became available in Dynamics 365 version 35. This feature limits the number of lines per journal to 1000. This is a limit defined by Microsoft and automatically creates a new journal for any lines that exceed that number. Let's take a look at it in action. What I'll do here, navigate to my general journals. Here I have this journal 977 and it has 1003 lines. What this feature does, it removes the line limit defined previously on the journal names. So if you look at this journal right here, you see that there is no field to define number of lines. Just to compare it to the previous version, here we see that for the journal name, we were able to define lines limit. So this field is removed. The limit is set to 1000 records. And this is a limit that is controlled by Microsoft. It's not really clear how this limit can be adjusted. Let's go back to our newer version. If you look at the journal lines, we see that each line has its own voucher number and that's a setting on the journal name. And if we navigate all the way to the end, we see that my line 1000 has the voucher 944 and line 1001 has voucher 945. If I try to post that journal as is by clicking on the post, I will receive this warning message saying the number of lines within journal batch number 977 exceeds the maximum line counts of 1000. The journal must be posted in batch mode. I think this is a great reminder that you need to use the batch framework when you try to generate a large number of transactions by posting a journal with large number of lines. So now we will post that journal in batch. Make sure that the batch processing is set to yes and click on OK. So we have created a new batch and let's wait for it to finish. When we come back to the list of the journals, we already see that the system has created another journal number 982. This is a journal that will hold additional three lines that were over a limit of 1000. Once these journals have been posted, they will disappear from the list of unposted journals. So to see them, we'll need to go and look at the posted journals, go all the way to the end of the list. And now we see these two journals. If we look at the history for that new journal, by clicking on the history tab right here, you see that it's referencing the original journal number 977. So this way you always know why a journal number was created. And now if we look at the lines for this new journal, we see that it has those three additional lines and we see that the voucher numbers have been preserved. And of course, our original journal 977, the one that had 1003 records now has a limit of 1000 records right here. Overall, this is a very handy feature, very logical feature that was introduced by Microsoft. It will prevent users from mistakenly posting the journals in the session and will allow us to post these journals quicker using the batch servers instead. That is all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time.